So Sandra, we had a interesting conversation and you agreed to record your experiences with me so others could, could benefit by it. Yeah. So you're, you're a member of our Optimal EFT course membership. Yeah. But you were, in, you were motivated to do so because you've had, even prior to this experience, some spiritual experiences. Did I, did I say it right? Yes. Yeah. You had developed, even prior to reading my book, prior to being introduced to the unseen therapist, an right. ability to, my term, communicate, get messages from, get support from, help from the spiritual dimension, Jesus, the angels, in your terms. Did I say it right? Right. That's okay. right. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, I also so, I also felt uh, the the presence of love, uh, just just a lo love that's kind of all encompassing love that is apart from Jesus and the angels that uh, that had always guided me too. I wasn't sure. I'm not really good at explaining these things or identifying them. Never really talked to anybody that knows. Um, but necessarily understand what I'm talking about, but I know that was also um, that was an experience I had that I was kind of looking for the answers to. Sure. Okay. So then you come across having been an EFT tapper for some time with some good results and this kind of thing. Yeah. You came across my book, The Unseen Therapist. You just sort of read it to begin with, et cetera, and you got more and more into it. So. Talk a little bit about that, because my understanding is that enhanced substantially your connection with spirit. Did I, did I say it right? Yeah? Yes. Yes. All right. That's Go ahead. Very accurate. I mean, the energy of it drew me in uh, in such a powerful way that I read your book. I thought, what is it? What's happening to me? It was like uh, it, it enveloped me. It just totally enveloped me. And I was able to identify that it started with that, and that that when I when I did read something from one of your students about you were talking with her about um, how she healed someone, or how she was a healer in her family or something, um, it, it started enveloping me then. And then I felt drawn to read the go ahead and read the book because I knew that that's what was drawing me in. So I read it, and I was just amazed that that you were really talking about something than other than what I thought you were talking about. You're really talking about um, the oneness experience that you had. And, uh, and you were talking about um, an unseen therapist that was, was available without the tapping even, you know, it was like, and I, I really found that hard to believe for, because for me, because I only knew about the tapping in my little bit. And uh, I had had really good success with, success with things, but it was always slow, sacred, slow, uh, loving. But when I got involved in this, it was, it, it's like I went up 10 notches. It was like um, I went out to my patio and I, uh, I usually can connect with God, uh, my sense of what God is out, the, out in the in nature. And uh, I had this experience like I've never had with a, uh, a, a God that was actually talking uh, very powerful, very clearly. It wasn't one, is this God? It wasn't one of those questions, is this God? It, it, there was no doubt this was God. And, well, uh, let me... and I got, it, it was just a, a, amazing. I didn't know what was happening. It was very, very overwhelming. Well, let me interject here something, if I can, Sandra. Yeah. Because the kinds of things that you are describing here are the kinds of things that in our advanced course we are efforting towards. Many people have had no connection, no experience other than maybe reading about it and going to church or something right. um, with the spiritual dimension. No real communication, no real messages, if you will, at least that one could easily discern. Right. Now, you were coming into this, if I've got it right, you were coming into this with some level of that already. Now, Hi. you start to get into my beginner's book. It's a beginner's book, by the way. Okay. Um, 
you start to get into that and it takes you to another level and now you're on your patio and you are getting these clear messages in your view from god so let me ask you did those messages come as notions ideas words on a on a screen or something or uh, how did they show up uh gosh that that one was usually when i'm on the patio i feel the the energy of it there's a an energy and it speaks to me subtly this was like it this was like a um uh, it was like it was more it was in the sky, and it was like I don't, it sounds going to sound silly, but um, it was like a voice, but it was a voice speaking to my heart, not my ears. Uh, it was a, a voice, but it, it was very uh, words. It was specific words, which I've not really not ever heard before. I would get the energy of it. I would get a sense of what the energy was saying, but very vague. But this was very clear. Uh, that's what that's what overwhelmed me so much. It was so clear. But there was something in me that that would not let me doubt it. It was there was this this mm -hmm. convi conviction that that this that this was uh, you know God's voice, uh, and that. And I was like, uh, sort of spellbound. It was, it was very divine. It was very divine. Uh, but yet, on the other hand, I wasn't surprised because, because I've, I often ha have these spiritual experiences and mystical experiences, but nothing like this, which was so clear. And it was, uh, it was focused on a specific problem I was having at the time, which helped me know what to, what step to take. It was a very difficult problem I was having with another person that I needed to change the contract with. But, um, but that was, that made me go and, and finish the, the unseen therapist book. But this is, this is really probably what I've been waiting for my whole life. Cause it's like how, what it's done for me is it's helped bring all these little pieces of what I've been doing with this, with my spiritual path all my life. It brought it all together. It's 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 like all the aspects of, of me that I've just uh, um, I worked with, and all the the spiritual paths I've explored, and the spiritual spiritual tools I've explored. Uh, it's like it. It's like this was my reward. You know, I finally I finally stumbled on something that was the answer for me, and sure. so I started using it. Uh, I used your your you know your um your suggestions of how to contact the unseen therapist i would use it for everything and just like i always have used eft or other things for i'd always have a spiritual um uh, uh, quest to try to find that the truth or the solution to it and i started using the unseen therapist and my answers the answers i got were immediate they were they were deep they were wise they were all-encompassing they were um loving um, it was like, it was like a dream come true. <laughs> That's why I wrote you that email. It was like a dream come true. <laughs> well, I'm going to suppose in there, because this is, but there's something else that's going on. Not only were they loving it, cetera, as you were describing all that. Right. But they were also fair, meaning nobody ever loses in any of them. It's not like, it's not like you're having a problem with somebody else. You know, they're wrong and you're right. And how are you going to correct them? It's more like, oh, oh we've got to solve everybody's issue. Yes. Here's the fair way to do it. So right. everybody wins. And it's not, it's, not like, it's not like, Sandra, you have to give up this thought and they've got to give up that thought. No, no, no. No, right. somehow the solution is just, it's just a it's peaceful yeah. It's hard to describe, but there's a it way. There's a solution to everything, including, if you'll let me pontificate for a moment, all of our oh. world problems, our political problems, our wars, our poverty, and all the stuff that goes around in this world that is so unfair, if you will, 
Mm -hmm. There is fair solutions, but we've got to get our own egos out of the way and listen to wisdom, to guidance that is really there. Right. There's a lot of, uh, I've noticed there's a lot of forgiveness suggestions that come in. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, you've been using this. I mean, you, you spend quite a bit of your professional time, as you mentioned earlier, helping people in prisons. Right. Now, I've been in prisons myself many, many years ago, long before I ever brought up the unseen therapy. We were doing tapping, et cetera. Okay. And as you have experienced, I presuming your experience, there's a lot of really hardened people in there. I'm saying hardened psychologically. They're not right. very open. They're not very open. They're guarded. They're angry. They're a lot of things like that. Okay. Right. And I was finding, I'd like to have you compare this for the moment. I was finding that once I had rapport with them, and once, in this case, we were doing tapping, and they would get some results, a certain form of uncharacteristic softness appear. I don't know how else to describe that. Yeah, they still have their tattoos and, and, and you know, the big muscles and all this <laughs> other stuff, this macho, macho stuff. But there was a softness, an understanding, a I get it-ness mm -hmm. in there. Now, I haven't gone in there and used unseen therapists with them. We do have someone in Australia who's done that and is reporting similar things. But report to me, if you would, whatever you're seeing as a result okay. of that. The main way, the main way that uh, unseen therapists has helped me is helping me get clear about, sometimes I get really frustrated with, with, a, with an inmate who is, uh, acting out in some way, maybe taking his anger out on me for something. And uh, I, ne I really need to stay calm and focused and, and present in a, uh, in a good way. And uh, Unseen Therapist has helped me by uh, answering the questions I have about an inmate I'm having trouble with uh, or that, I, that I, I have some frustration with and helping me see that, uh, you know, see things from a more I guess, uh, accurate and truthful way and, uh, and enabling me to do the right thing, uh, guiding me to, to do, give the, the inmate what, what he needs uh, and resulting in much happiness for me and much happiness for him in, in the process, you know. You're bringing up, Sandra, and thank you, although you didn't use the term, I want to use it, the subject of trust. It's one thing to be a beginner at this, being at the bottom of our stairway to miracles and gradually get up there. Right. It's another thing to be far enough up this stairway to miracles, which is where you are, where you begin to not only trust what you're hearing, you get to a point where you trust that more than you do your own ego chatter and your own et cetera. Right. You need to go there. And when you're dealing with somebody who's closed up, like many prisoners are, Mm -hmm. emotionally, psychologically, and so on. You need to have some kind of a notion, some kind of a communication, a valid source of wisdom that's saying, ah, the real issue is bingo over here. Okay. Right. Now, that takes trust. And a lot of people listening in here are on their way to getting that trust. You're up there. That's one reason I want you here. You're, yeah. you're at a point, and correct me if I'm wrong, you're at a point where you need this kind of wisdom in what you're doing. And rather than rely on your own guesswork or detective work, you take the easy way out and ask guidance. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> well, okay. So that's a message. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, not everybody has that trust yet. Of course, of course, we have to get that. We have to have an experience and we stub our toes and don't have any, you know, we get, we mm. supposedly <laughs> fail and we get our success and, but we gradually go, Oh, there's something here, something here as we travel up this stairway. Right. And eventually we get to a point where, ah, I shouldn't be relying on me to solve problems. 
Exactly. <laughs> I'm going exactly. to get in the way because my way of solving a problem, and I'm speaking mm -hmm. for the ego now, okay, <laughs> is to win. That's my way of solving it. I get to win. <laughs> do it my way. That's how we solve the problem. Okay, I'll compromise, but I win because you have to do that as well. I mean, all, all this stuff goes on. Yes. yes. There's such a much more beautiful, much more peaceful way to arrive at compromise, solutions, problems, whatever they may be. Mm -hmm. you know? That's right. We have, a, it's, it's... we have a lesson in our advanced course. It's lesson number 10. It's called the TV Guidance Channel Technique. It's, it's a metaphor. It's all about how to mechanically ask unseen therapist what's going on now with this client or my issue or whatever you know mm -hmm. the kind of thing that you do automatically <laughs> but as people get to this one lesson that we have and they begin to practice it after a while they start to do it automatically and it's a gradual kind of kind of thing so mm -hmm. yeah anyway. it's very rewarding <laughs>